what's up everybody once again it's brand man sean and we gotta talk about little baby and gunna and why drip harder is doing them numbers this project hit hard its first week in its first week it did 130k equivalent album units it hit the number four spot on billboard 200 albums chart and was the most streamed album of the week with 164.63 million streams to put that in perspective quavo and travis scott's huncho jack jack huncho did 90k its first week and the streaming portion equated to about 105 million first week streams so they beat it by at least 60 million streams and quavo and travis scott are far bigger than little baby and gonna but gauging the reception of both projects it seems the biggest reason is most likely replay value and that's what i really want to talk about in this video mostly why did that project work so well between them well obviously they're both qc artists and interesting enough one of the songs that really reflects this project is actually a song that's not even on the project but it really set the stage and that sold out dates first of all it just kind of symbolizes the fact that they're rising together at the same time no doubt that they're already successful but i'm sure if you ask them or their teams they have a lot of potential and a lot more star power in them and then the fact that they spend legitimate time together just adds to their chemistry and sold out dates little baby rap me and Young Gunna back at it again. We just in New York double dating with twin. He kind of reflects on moments like this throughout the project, which we'll get into, but that leads to another thing that helps with their chemistry. They both have the school of future and young thug about them. The influences are definitely clear as they're still finding themselves as artists, but because they both have that similar sound production wise, it just meshes to the point if you really didn't know who they were or you are a real listener, you wouldn't know which one is which. But one of the obvious tales, which also helps them in their chemistry is the fact that they have two different pockets. Lyrically, Lil Baby be on some I go hard street shit, I'm a hustler, and he tells stories. Gunna, on the other hand, is more melodically strong, and he about that fashion. If they were both New York rappers, Lil Baby will be Brooklyn, and Gunna will be Harlem. Lil Baby gets a little bit deeper into his pocket in songs like Close Friends, where he's obviously talking to a girl the whole time, kind of chronicling their relationship. He was even telling that story in Sold Out Dates when he was talking about him and Gunna being in New York. And then of course with Gunna, you always gonna get some V-Loan. Of course with Gunna, you gonna get V-Loan left and right. You might get some Off-White sprinkled on, but that man got V-Loan and Sold Out Dates. He has V-Loan and Off-White V-Loan. He mentions V-Loan in Belly, and even in Belly, Lil Baby raps. I got Gunna with me, rocking V-Loan Supreme. The production is already going to be strong. You knew that because QC don't play. But these dudes really are a genuine great mesh, sonically. They have similar sounds. They have legitimate chemistry because apparently they're really cool. And they talk about different subjects. They got different pockets. As a listener, that's the kind of stuff that I love to see when we talk about collaborations. You're probably going to get a lot more replays from me. Little Baby's heavy with his lyrics and his verses. And you already have somebody who's more melodically heavy like Gunna versus somebody like Travis Scott and Quavo both of them are chorus kings. They're melody mavens. They have the same skill set. Comparing that to a group like the Migos, which is a constant collaboration, but all of them have different strengths. But that's just my opinion. What do you think about Drip Harder? Do you like that project in the first place? And why do you think it works so well? Other than that, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.